Here we are going to show you how to clean or change the filter in your 17,000 air cleaner. To make sure you have the correct model, you can check for the model number on the sticker on the bottom of the unit. First we need to tell you that the newer units in this model come with lifetime HEPA filters, while the older units do not. To determine whether or not you have a lifetime HEPA filter, please look at the mesh that surrounds the filter. If the mesh encasing the filter is black, then you do not have a lifetime HEPA filter. If the mesh is clear, then you do have a lifetime HEPA filter. If you do have a lifetime HEPA filter, then you will have to clean it when the filter indicator illuminates. The filter indicator on these units will light automatically after 90 days due to factory specifications. This light comes on independently of your environment and cannot actually tell you how much dirt or dust is on the filter. To clean the filter, you'll first want to turn the air cleaner off and unplug it from the wall. When the unit has been unplugged, lay it on its side with the door facing up. Once you have the door facing up in front of you, you'll want to unscrew the cap that is directly in the center of the door. When this is unscrewed, you can remove it from the door and lift the door off to expose both of the filters. You may now remove the filter assembly from the air purifier. Separate and remove the carbon pre-filter from the HEPA filter and place it to the side. The carbon pre-filter is no longer effective after 90 days, so if you are cleaning your filters every time the indicator light illuminates, you have to discard the pre-filter and replace it with the new one. Once you have the filter separated, take a vacuum with an internal HEPA filter and affix a nozzle or brush attachment to the end of it. If you do not have a vacuum with an internal HEPA filter, then we recommend vacuuming your lifetime HEPA filter outside so that small particles are not released back into your home. Once you have the attachment on the vacuum, run it along the outside surface of the filter to pick up the dirt and particles. Make sure you do not penetrate the paper pleats with the vacuum as they may cause tearing or puncturing. Once the filter has been completely vacuumed, Wrap a brand new pre-filter around the outside of it and Velcro it into place with provided Velcro straps. Now, place the entire filter assembly back inside the internal chamber of the air purifier and replace the end cap back onto the unit. Place the locking mechanism back into the hole of the end cap and turn it clockwise until it is securely tightened. You will now need to reset the IntelliCheck filter indicator. You can start by bringing the air cleaner into an upright position. You will have to plug the air cleaner back into the wall and power it on. Once the unit is running, you should see the filter indicator illuminated. All you need to do is press and hold down the button for approximately 10 seconds or until the light shuts off. Your lifetime filters are now clean, fresh, and new. You may continue to use your air cleaner. Here we are going to show you how to clean or change the filter in your 17,000 air cleaner. To make sure you have the correct model, you can check for the model number on the sticker on the bottom of the unit. First we need to tell you that the newer units in this model come with lifetime